All right, today I'm going to show you this uh, awesome website where you can make your own personalized um, installer source. You're going to want to go to touchtoolset.com backslash repo.sc. Um, if you type in repo.sc and hit enter, it'll automatically take you to this website. Um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to register. Uh, you want to go ahead and read all the the rules, you know, click on I have read it, register, you set up a username, password, email address, and enter in the uh, image verification code. Um, and then um, on the referrer, you can put me down if you'd like. You don't have to, it doesn't matter. The iPod touched. Um, you complete registration, send me an email, and then um, you just go ahead and activate your account. I've already did all that, so I'm going to go ahead and just sign in. Alright, FD login. It's going to tell you thank you for logging in. Um, go ahead and you can read about what repo.se is all about. Um, What's really neat over here on your left hand side, these are all the uh, different sources you can add. So let's say you wanted to add uh, iPhone 1.12 apps for touch. So you click on that. And over here, these are all different, diff uh, different apps you can add. So let's say you want to add the uh, mobile mail prep. So this is bad. Last one, all I do is click over here to add package. And you want to add um, Apple Mobile Mail. Yeah, so click over here. Let's say you go back over here and you want to add oh, some themes. So you go over here and say you want to add a uh, Simpson Izu theme. Click that package. And you want the uh, this other thing. So you just go through over here and just click on all the different categories. And then within those categories, you know, there's different uh, packages you can add. And once you're done adding all the packages you want, you click on uh, your repo link. I'll give you your personalized repo link. And then from there, you go into your uh, iPod. Go into uh, Installer, uh, go to Sources, click Edit, then Add, and then type in that link. So it's going to be repo.sc backslash, and then whatever your uh, username is. So mine is iPod. Oops. Click OK. I'll refresh sources. Click Done. So now if I go into Install, it's going to have all those uh, packages that I had uh, added to my uh, repo. So like as you can see, uh, here's the iPhone 1.12 apps that I had added just with the Apple Mobile Mail and the Mobile Mail Prep. Um, so like here's the themes that I added, my themes apps is what I added. Um, so those are the two that I had added, but you can go ahead and add as many as you want, whichever ones you want. Um, the only thing is, uh, don't enter mine as a, a source. Go ahead and just enter your own, create your own, um, because they don't want you advertising your, uh, source as, you know, your own or anything, and, um, so let's go ahead and go and just create your own. I mean, there's no point in using mine. You can just um, go ahead and just add all the ones that you specifically want. Um, but uh, I just want to go ahead and show you all this this site. It's really awesome, really neat. So that way you don't have to have a whole bunch of sources. So if you just you know have one that you created with all the stuff that you want, you won't have a bunch of junk that you don't want to install. Just taking up. Uh, 
space or slowing down your iPod trying to load up all these sources. You know, you hear people complaining about it, it takes 10, 10 minutes to refresh a source. So this really uh, helps solve that problem. So that way you just um, add all the, the uh, packages that you want. Um, but uh, don't forget to uh, visit my website. It's uh, iPodTouch.blogspot.com.